This is how it's going to look like after you've done all the details um, working with the clay. So I'm just going to let this one dry because it's already done. And I'm going to take another piece of clay. I'm just going to roll that into a ball. Depending on how thick you want it to be, um, you know, use as much clay as you need. So I'm just starting to press it down and you could already see that I'm molding it with my finger as I go. So hopefully it's clear enough so you guys can see how um, I'm doing it. I'm just doing it with my finger. And then I'm just rubbing the top of it to get rid of any marks and thumbprints that it has. Then taking a clay tool, which you can use pretty much anything, I'm just bending it even more and I keep on pressing it down and smoothing everything out. So I'm making sure that it's not stuck to the bottom. And I'm going to take a notepad and I'm just going to place it in between the two pages and I'm going to rub the top. I'm doing this to get rid of any marks and just to smoothen everything out even better. You don't really have to do that, I don't know, I just wanted to do that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take another clay tool which you guys can use anything that's circular, preferably one that looks kind of like a cookie cutter. And I'm just going to start to do some of the feather details. So I'm just going to continue to go across the wing to make it look like it has um, a bunch of feathers. And you keep doing that until you like how it comes out. Then taking another clay tool, which you guys could use a toothpick because this is not really sharp. I'm just denting it even more and making a line from like the middle of the top part all the way down. And this is going to be the first feather for the bottom, <laughs> the bottom part. <laughs> and I'm just going to make a bunch of lines to separate the feathers like that. Anything works for this. Again, I think a toothpick could work just perfectly for this. So after I've done that, I'm just gonna continue using my circle cookie cutter looking tool. And I'm gonna define the lines a little bit more. So keep messing around until you have something that you like. Then I'm going to take the end of my tool and I'm just going to smush some of the pieces of the clay where the feathers are and make it so that each little feather actually comes out on the edge. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to take the tool again and press it against and separate each of the feathers so it actually looks like it has feathers instead of you know just creating lines on it. Then I'm going to take this pin I'm going, I flipped it over, I had to be careful not to poke myself with it and I'm just going to create a hole since we are going to use this for earrings and I'm going to take my tool and make the hole bigger to match the other one This way we'll be able to hang them onto our earrings. So now that I've got that, I'm just going to let this dry. And I let it dry overnight, just to be safe. And now you can see that it's already dry. And what I did was I painted it with a nail polish, which was a pearl white. And then on the separations of the feathers, the lines, and the bottom, I just added some silver glitter nail polish all around the bottom and on the bottom lines. You can see there. So that is done. The next thing is making the wires. 
So to make the wire circles, all you have to do is take a piece of wire and bend it with the pliers and close the circle. Before you close it completely, just put your uh, wing through it. And then I'm going to take a bigger piece of wire. I'm going to fold that. Then place it through the previous wire. Then I'm going to place a bead inside of it. I actually put two, but you can't see the other one. Then to close the top part, I just bent it into a circle and that was it. But if you guys have those earring things to create new earrings like this one, you would just want to pull it through and then close it. I didn't use that though, so I just closed it into a circle and used some studded earrings that I had. Since I don't really use studded earrings, I don't know why. So I just put that through the hole and I was done with my angel wing earrings. So they hang, they're not heavy at all. And you can make them even thinner if you wanted to. I, this is the first time I was doing this, so. <laughs> I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you guys try it out and enjoy your new unique angel earrings. See you guys.